Well, in fact, I was uh, listening to the radio on the way here, and the conversation was, is Montpelier listening to you? The answer overwhelmingly from the callers is, no, they're not. Right. And the same is true in Washington. Are people listening to you? No, they're not. Uh, so Donald Trump, I think, has done a good job elevating that issue, which is an important one. He's also shown uh, uh, people, that it can be Republicans or, or Democrats or whoever, that political correctness is really a dangerous thing. Yes. And that you do not need to be politically correct in order to be successful, which I think is something that has been beaten into a lot of people. Right. Like they go, oh, we can't say this, or we can't say that, or we can't oppose this policy because we'll be considered politically incorrect. Right. I think there's a backlash to, to that mindset, which is healthy, a healthy backlash to that mindset. And Trump deserves credit for pointing that yes. out and, and showing people a path that you, know, you, you can stand up to these things, and you can stand up to these things and be successful. That said, yes. There's a big that said. <laughs> yes. uh, I, I do think overall uh, he, he's a very dangerous phenomenon, uh, both for the country as a whole and for the Republican Party in particular. And I'll say for the country as a whole because I, I don't think that he is he's presenting himself uh, to the people as to what he truly believes. <laughs> I, I, I think that, that this is he, he's a. Uh, uh, He's a marketing person. He's an entertainer. I think that uh, he was able to read a report and say, hey, there are a lot of people out there who are very interested and passionate about this uh, illegal immigration issue. I'm just going to spew back whatever I heard in a focus group, and I'm going to get those people's support. And I don't think that he necessarily believes that he's going to build a wall, that he thinks it's a good idea to build a wall. He may. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not convinced that he does because he has flip-flopped on so many other yeah, core exactly. issues on, on where he stands on, uh, on the life issue, where he stands on health care, where he stands on, uh, he's still on eminent domain. For single payer. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's sort of all over the place. And so as far as the country goes, what worries me is this is not somebody who's leading on principle. We are supposed to be a nation of laws. And, and Donald Trump is, is really em embodies a, a, a nation of ruler, rule by man and individual. And I'm not saying not man in terms of mankind. I'm saying one person, one rule. It's right. a form of tyranny. Uh, he's out there saying, you know, I'm going to make America great again. 